We often see articles like this one from Marketplace under the heading Race and Economy. And the title is meant to capture the eyes of many minorities, you know, blacks, Hispanics, etc. People of, as they say, people of color. And it goes on to say, it says, black and Hispanics, see, black, Hispanic, and poorer families pay the price for being unbanked. And of course, they're going to talk about what does it mean to be unbanked. It says, blacks and Hispanics are more than twice as likely as white Americans to be unbanked or underbanked. And there's a link to another article here talking about that. And basically what it means is they either don't have a bank account or mostly use things like check cashing services or payday loans. And it's basically so that they have cash in hand. They're not typically utilizing credit cards or debit cards. They have cash in hand. And it goes on to say, it says low income families are more than six times as likely as wealthier families to fall into those categories. People of color and low income people are also more likely to have to not have a credit score. And that's according to a, a new report linked here from the Joint Committee in Congress. Usually, and this is their quote, it says usually it's from the California University. It says usually people are unbanked or underbanked because they don't have enough money to have what they call a free checking account because it's not free. And this is, of course, according to a law professor in the University of California who says most checking accounts have a minimum balance as well as, and if, of course, if you don't maintain that balance, then they're going to charge you a fee. They're going to charge you a fee for you putting too little money. And, of course, this is the incentive to get you to push more of your money into the banking sector so that they can turn around and make money loaning it out at, of course, your expense. The other person is... The other problem is that there's a lot of communities in America that don't have a bank branch with, you know, that's close to them. This is for people who don't have a bank account or a credit card. There's a good chance they also don't have a credit score. According to Jose, uh, Jose Quinones, this is at a nonprofit mission asset fund said that without a credit score, people can't get apartments. They can't start a business. They can't even buy cars. And for some of them, they don't even have the ability uh, to get a job. There are certain jobs that might actually look at your credit, sc credit score. And if you don't have a credit score, well, then you can't get a job there. Some people want to be better to have, have a place to live. And, of course, this is all under the guise of racism, right? It's these poor minorities that don't have access to these things. So you know, kind of we need to bring them into the fold, as, as it were. One way to help more low-income people, of course, is to build credit histories would be to expand the kinds of transactions that factor into credit scores, right? So there are certain things as a criteria that they say this counts for credit scores. And they say, well, some of these people, you know, they have other criteria that we can utilize to bring them into the fold. The reason being is because, as I had, you know, pointed out in my other video, in socialism, you run out of other people's money. And so you're constantly on the lookout for someone to bring into your system so that you can subsequently tax that person. You can monitor that person's income and spending, and then you can market to that individual to be able to extract their wealth. And this is why they target blacks and Hispanics. And in another video that I did, either released before or after this one, uh, we'll talk about that from the standpoint of many black Americans. Now, of course, whenever they give you access to any of these credit cards or lines of credit systems, right, the, the, the vast majority of, of it flies in the face of what the Bible had stated in terms of, in the book of Le Leviticus, God had actually outlawed. In the book of Le Leviticus 25, 36, it says, Take no interest from him or profit, but fear your God that your brother may live beside you. Do not charge interest or make profit at his expense. Instead, show your fear of God by letting him live with you as your relative. And this was outlined thousands of years ago about how we were to treat each other. And more importantly, when you come in contact with someone that you know is in need, 
don't take advantage of the situation by charging them interest on loans. Now, of course, this was at a time period where people actually used money. They used, you know, metal metal coins um, that they would then hand. You would li- they would literally just kind of like what we used to do with quarters and dimes and nickels, etc. There's actually proof of work, right? Because someone had to ex- extract those minerals from the ground. Someone had to actually print that paper and build that machine to print the paper, right? There's at least some proof of work. And this is why overwhelmingly throughout history, they utilized gold and silver because of how much work it took to go into extracting those minerals out of the ground. And of course, they might pretend to tell you that these are old relics from the past, but it's primarily for the system of things. It's socialism it's the easiest way to introduce socialism to the people because you can readily tax the people you can pull away from their wealth you know how much wealth those individuals hold and then of course you can then uh, print more of that money create more of those digital digital dollars onto a screen and then use it to go out and buy actual assets right actual products goods and services houses start businesses etc which of course was talked about in my other video talking about how many black americans opted not to enter into the banking system for this very reason anyway i'm going to leave this video here feel free to leave your comment below like comment and subscribe and i will check you next time